Hello, Blake Rudis here with F64 Academy and F64 Elite. And today I want to talk to you about cropping in Photoshop as opposed to doing it in something like Adobe Camera Raw. So this image, perfect example. If I wanted to straighten the horizon back here, guess what? I'm stuck with this crop. If I commit to this, it's going to cut the top of this image off and I have lost my composition. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel this out. This is what it would look like if I were to commit to that. And this is what it would look like if we were to go ahead and straighten that horizon in Photoshop as opposed to doing it in Adobe Camera Raw. So let's go ahead and jump in. Got a lot of cool stuff to share with you. So I've been editing this image and I really like what I've come up with, but I'm at the point where I need to straighten my horizon because I'm horizontally challenged like many uh, photographers in the industry here. You know, I get so anxious sometimes with, with what's about to happen, especially in this environment. The waves were coming towards me and I had to set my camera up really quickly to get this shot. So I, I focused on the composition but my horizon wasn't as straight as I would like it to be. So I need to straighten my horizon. So I'm gonna show you how I straighten that in Photoshop and why I don't do this sometimes in something like Adobe Camera Raw or even Lightroom for that matter. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna press Control and Spacebar here and zoom into the back of my image where the horizon line is. And I'm gonna to go to my straighten tool here and I'm just gonna straighten this up right off the horizon line right there in the back and then if I press the control and space bar, right click and then fit in view, look what happens. In order for this to constrain itself within the image, I cannot go outside of this. It's not letting me go outside of this image because what I wanna do, I don't wanna cut the tops of those trees off because if I go ahead and commit to this by pressing enter, I've just ruined my composition. I've compartmentalized my sky. I've stopped the action from happening around it and stabilized the entire piece. And what I really want is your eye to be able to navigate around this beautiful C stack that happens to have trees growing on it. So what I'll do is I'll press Command or Control Z, and that is not going to undo it. So let's go to the crop and then press uh, delete on this crop, okay? So if I were to go into my crop settings and try to undo constrained image or even go to some type of custom, it's it's not going to allow me to, um, to, to get any space on the outside of those trees. It's just not going to do it in uh, Adobe Camera Raw. So what I need to do is I need to just press open image, and I'm going to show you how to do this in Photoshop. I like the settings that I have here in Adobe Camera Raw, so I'll stick with those, but let's press open image and go into Photoshop. So what we need to do is we need to straighten this image. So if we go into the crop tool, which is over here on the left hand side, up here we have a, uh, a menu bar that has the straighten tool in it. Now, one of the cool things about cropping is you might not think that cropping is that important. I did a whole 90 minute course on cropping. Can you believe that? Well, if you're on YouTube, you can go into the description below and see that uh, cropping uh, course there. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom into my image again by pressing control and space bar and zoom into the back. And I'm going to go ahead and just straighten that horizon again, just like that. Okay, and then press control and space bar, right click, fit on screen. So what you see here is it's showing me what the crop detail is gonna be, right? Well, you see this button here that says delete cropped pixels, uncheck that, okay? And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go like this, just bump it up. If we bump it up, it's gonna change the aspect ratio of our entire image. So press command or control Z. So then we'll just go up into this left corner, press and hold shift, and we move out by pressing and holding shift, it constrains it to the proportions of our photo. So I'll go all the way to the edge of the photo down here, and then press and hold shift and go all the way to the edge of the photo up here. So if I were to go ahead and press enter and commit to this, I would have a big empty strip up at the top of the image. But there's this really cool thing right here called content aware. Now with this, I could even go a little bit further out in this direction too, and get a little bit more of the left hand side of the image. So now I'd have two empty spaces on the outside and an empty space down here below. But press this little button here called content aware and then go ahead and commit to those changes by either pressing enter or clicking the check mark up here. What it's gonna do is it's gonna crop the image and Photoshop is gonna analyze all of those edges and it's gonna go ahead and fill them in with a content aware tool. And that content aware tool looks at the pixels that are around it and it kind of says, okay, well, if this looks like this and this looks like this and this were to continue going like this, then let's go ahead and see what would happen. And it'll fill in the top of your image. And it looks like it's taking a little bit of 
the tree here because it seems to me like what it did was it took the uh, selection from below and then reversed it up to the top to get this type of look here which looks really good over there so we'll go ahead and press the space bar and just move around it looks like it did a pretty good job over here but it's still missing some of the edge of the image you can see on the edge of the image there's still a little bit of empty pixels over there and then we'll look at the bottom of the image and it looks pretty good down here looks really good down here look at that it reversed that beautifully to get that look and if there's just a little bit more over on the edge here it's okay we can just go into the crop tool and go down to the lower edge of this image and we could press and hold shift and bring this in just a little bit to crop that off because we don't necessarily need it anyway and commit to those changes you can try fighting with some other content aware things but sometimes when it's just that sliver of information there it doesn't work out too well you could also clone it in if you wanted to do that as well and the same thing with the top of our image we can either clone the top of this if we really need it or we just crop in a little bit more so we cropped out really large content aware filled in and now we're just going to head and close it in just a little bit more to get rid of the uh, stuff that's on the top of the image and then we'll look over on this other side everything looks good over here and that is how we would effectively crop our image without losing that area that's really important which is the top of that tree so that our eye can continue to navigate around this sky that just looks gorgeous so instead of committing to those things in Adobe Camera Roll or Lightroom where you can't necessarily content aware that easily, go ahead and do it in Photoshop because it makes your life a whole lot easier in Photoshop as opposed to doing this in Adobe Camera Roll. Cropping is a really important thing to do with our images. Straightening the horizon, even more critical than uh, an effective crop in my opinion. So again, if you're interested in that cropping course, just go ahead and look in the description below. So again, my name is Blake Rudis with F64 Academy and F64 Elite. If you like this, please comment on it, share it, like it, tell a friend, and if you're interested in that 90-minute cropping course, just look in the description below. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this.